reporting from Arrakis, risking my life and braving the elements, all for this channel. The bloody green screen's gone wrong again. Over to Attenberger for the lowdown on the sandworm. A sandworm is a fictional extraterrestrial creature that appears in the Dune novels written by Frank Herbert, first introduced in Dune, 1965. Sandworms are colossal, worm-like creatures that live on the desert planet Arrakis. The sandworm's larvae produce a drug called melange, known colloquially as the spice, the most essential and valuable commodity in the universe because it makes safe and accurate interstellar travel possible. Melange deposits are found in the sand seas of Arrakis, where the sandworms live and hunt, and harvesting the spice from the sand is a dangerous activity because sandworms are aggressive and territorial. Harvesting vehicles must be airlifted in and out of the sand sea in order to evade sandworm attacks. The struggle over the production and supply of melange is a central theme of the Dune Saga. In this video, we briefly describe its life cycle as per reliable sources. Meet Derek. Yes, he's a sandworm. Okay, bugger off, Derek. Ah, the sandworm of Arrakis. It's the largest and most dangerous organism on the planet, reaching up to 400 meters in length. Revered by the Fremen as a physical embodiment of the divine, it's known by various names, such as the Shai Halud or the Thing of Eternity. It's capable of producing the coveted spice melange through a unique process involving light, water, and carbon dioxide. These creatures play a central role in Frank Herbert's Dune universe. The life cycle of the sandworm begins with the sand trout, essentially larval forms of the sandworm. These small organisms adapt to the environment, eventually transforming into the massive sandworms. They have a profound effect on Arrakis, transforming the planet from a lush green watery place into a desert by absorbing large bodies of water. Later, the sandworms are revealed to have been introduced to Arrakis from another planet, proliferating to the point where they reshape the entire ecosystem. The god Emperor Leto II even undergoes a transformation into a sandworm merging his DNA with the creatures to ensure their survival. Studying these creatures is challenging due to their immense size. Their thick, rough skin provides protection against the harsh desert environment. The sandworm's massive mouth surrounded by organic teeth could devour anything, honored and feared. These giants live for thousands of years, unaware of the spice's crucial role in the universe's stability. Mating occurs after approximately a thousand years, with gravid females attracting males to build nests. The reproductive process involves intricate stages, including the deposition of spice fiber egg cases, leading to the creation of larvae. Eventually, the larvae join together, forming a pre-spice mass that undergoes a powerful explosion called a spice blow, resulting in the creation of melange. During this process, many sand trout die, triggering changes in surviving larvae that lead to their metamorphosis into adult worms, adapting to the toxic environment and developing autotrophic abilities. Being autotrophic means that they can make their own food. And the waste product from that is the melange or the spice. So it's basically worm poop. The Fremen, that's the humanoids who live on Arrakis with the worms, have to tread carefully. For the sandworms are attracted to rhythmic vibrations in the sand. Hang on, can't resist this. Alexa, play the Spice Girls. The sandworms of Dune have animal-like intelligence, varying only slightly in appearance between adaptations, and are so tremendously large that they can rise from the ground and eat whole buildings. Despite the danger, spice is still sought out as it's so valuable, the most important commodity in the universe due to its ability to grant longevity, vastly increase mental powers, and enable faster than light travel known as space folding, and it turns your eyes a lovely shade of blue. So, Dune in a nutshell, it's all about worms that poo money. Perhaps we should rename it.
subscribe.